Hey everybody, it's me again, Kale. Here once more playing Final Fantasy IV. Last time we left off, Kane was lost. After we made it to Mist and burned the place down. Because we're... Dumb. But we picked up a small girl. That's not weird at all, I'm sure. Hey, what am I doing? I have the power of darkness. An excellent source of damage. Part of a balanced breakfast. Darkness! Oof. Now the acid reflux with darkness. That explains the loss of health. Anyway, let's get her to a hospital. And by hospital, I mean inn. Because all you really need to cure anything that ails you is a good night's sleep in an unfamiliar bed. No charge. Go ahead. Is she your daughter? No. Should probably ask questions, but go ahead! You okay? My name's Cecil. What's yours? Sorry, I killed your mom. I understand if you can't forgive me. Please let me protect you. And take you into dangerous situations. You know, filled with crazy monsters. Can I help you, sir? Cecil, finally I found you. I am the king. I am here on the king's orders. All summoners of mist must be annihilated. Now hand over the girl. No. Kill him! Sir, I don't appreciate how you are ref disrespecting me and my adoptive child. Now that I've dealt with two of your three guards, I'm going to murder you. Because if I kill your other guard, you'll run away. And we can't have that now, can we? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm evil. But only slightly. Attack! Sweet, sweet, juicy experience points. Mmm. Mmm. Give me that good level up. Okay. Yeah, don't worry. I won't let anyone hurt you. You promise? I promise. I'm ready. Ready. Yay! I made friends with a summoner. Always make friends with a summoner. They're a very powerful ally. Even if they are ten. I think she's ten. Hard to tell. Now that I think about it, Cecil hangs out with a disproportionate number of preteens. Hmm, not gonna think about that too hard. Well, you're level one. Oof. Yeah. No. Um. Get in the back row so that you might survive a round or two. 
Now, I'm not gonna grind a whole lot. Because... Well, grinding unless you really need to, it always feels a little cheap to me. I know it's there. It's perfectly reasonable. Can you use a bow? Super. And here are some brass arrows. That I'm sure as a child you are perfectly qualified to use. How do I... Make it go up in numbers? Well, there's a way. Why is that button not working? My button's not properly configured. There we go. Oh, oh gosh. What is what here? There we go. This can cycle back around. That was weird. There. Now we have plenty of arrows for you. I probably should have looked into armor. Oops. Good. Yeah. Gonna gonna regret not having looked into armor sooner. That's a big oops. Sir, what do you have for 60 gold pieces? Not a whole lot. What are you currently equipped with? Why are you already decked out in full leather armor? Damn, girl, you came prepared. Alright, um... Guess I didn't need to go to the armor shop. That's one prepared ten-year-old. Ten To adventure! Where are we going? We need to get back to Baron. That seems to be Cecil's key objective. Damn Cyan Desert Oasis. Okay. So we're in Damn Cyan. Good. Some damsel from Baron passed out in the outskirts of town. Damsel from Baron. No, that'd be too coincidental. Already did, ma'am. Already did. I am a responsible caretaker. I've given her a short bow, and I'm going to take her into hostile territory full of monsters so she can level up. I'm a good parent. Hey, that's mean. This is a gentleman and appreciates a good musical tone to his voice. It doesn't make him any less of a man. Although, thinking about him. Maybe, maybe a little bit. Desert feet. Still a little coincidental, but... Yep, okay. Rosa! Rosa. Cecil. Old man. What's wrong with her? Uh, to cure desert fever, you need a rare jewel called a sand ruby. It can only be found in a cave where the ferocious ant lion dwells. You better be right. I'm always right. Do you not see my beard and wizard hat? It means I'm a wise old man. Ooh. I like MP. I want to go to Dan Sion. There are too many monsters in the water cavern. Hey, check out this dance. Dancing must be a 
fairly common profession in this world. A lot of bards. A lot, a lot of bards. Oh, that sounds terrifying. We should go kill it. Anna found the man of her dreams. The sage Tella didn't approve. So she ran away. Thank you! She of the random exposition. PCs are weird. She and her father, the sage Tella, are very close. I don't sound it. I want a Kaipo punch. Is that hard punch? I am a traveling scholar. I'm going to Fabu, which is east of Dansai. Some old man at the water cavern won't let me through. Maybe they want to go to the Antlion Cave east of Dansai. But only the royals can go there. I really have visitors these days. What about the monsters running around? Always important to get to know what the common people are thinking. Apparently it's monsters in the water cavern. And monsters in the water cavern. Also a bunch of very pertinent information towards my quest. This is weird. Anyway, let's go see if we can find this water cavern. I know it's somewhere north. Hey, watch this. And you're dead! Also, why are there fish people in the desert? It's alright, we can't all be experts right away. I'll keep you covered until you're decent with that bow. Yeah! Oh good, you learned magic too. Yeah! Man, this game puts the random in random encounters. Tell you what, you just keep me healed, I'll keep murdering them. I am an expert in the art of murder. Things you should probably not tell a child. On, on average, I'm a good parent. Not, not, not maybe on the whole, but, you know. I beat the spread. Let's say that. Damn it. Hey! Please sight lets me see the map. Handy ability. But not the most exciting. Also, are you already you are already out of MP? I suppose you probably have enough for one more ice spell. Can't imagine it's much more than yeah five. Low level mages, man, they get like two spells and they're done. This is probably safe. I'm sure we're fine. Oh good. Now if somebody turns into a frog, we'll be okay. Once. Hey, there's an old guy. Maybe he can help us. Right after we kill these cave toads. Well, that's not a good sign. It's okay. Together we can take him. Also, really glad you came with leather armor. Ow! Oh, screw this. Hey! Yay, more magic! Good. Good. 
that be? The Dark Sword! Indeed! Dark Knight, I need your assistance! What's wrong? I must get to Damsine and reclaim my daughter! Who was deceived by a wicked bard! I know, bards are the worst, right? We must hurry, for I sense an ill omen. You must be the sage, tell him. I've heard about you. Yes. See, my, my reputation precedes me. That girl. She's a summoner. Perfect! She can help too. Also, she seems to have more magical potential than I do. Excellent. A giant monster looks in the underground ahead. The devil even withstands my magic. Together, I think we can defeat it. And then I can finally be on my way. Well, we're heading to Damn Sign as well. Then let us hurry! Super. I now have two mages. Oh shit, dude. Well, I mean... I'll happily take an extra mage. Can never go wrong with more casters. Alright, could be better. But hey, what do you expect? We're in the early game. A bomb. Perfect. Um, ice? How about, how about ice? What a solid bolt. Bolt seemed good. Hit him with a stick! Yeah. Oh. Alright, still doing- well, Cecil's getting a little low on health given all the, uh... All the times I have thrown the power of... DARKNESS! Gotta be careful how much you use the power of darkness. It's a man who plays Kingdom Hearts. I know. What's in the box? What's in the box? Can I use that? No. Can anybody use that effectively? I mean, you already have one. Tell them. Why does the ten-year-old have better armor than you, sir? Just... Just not gonna dignify that with a response more than that. You are very ill-prepared for this journey, old man. Ow. Ow. Thankfully you all hit like bitches. Their bolts? I don't know, how do pikes uh, re uh, react to lightning? Pretty poorly! Why are you having problems? You seem very adept. You just wanted a shield, didn't you? Asshole. Get him! Blast him! That could've been better. I guess frogs aren't, uh... aren't as weak to lightning as other things here. Good to know. So, fish and shellfish, weak to lightning. Everything else, still gotta learn.
Lightning bolt! Ow. Well, while we're having a bit of downtime in my things to talk about portion of the, of the playthrough, reasons why I love Final Fantasy IV so much. It was my first Final Fantasy. For me, this is the game that started it all. Back when I was but a wee lad. In the days of the Super Nintendo. You cowardly bitch. But it sparked my imagination. Gave me a love for storytelling. And led me into the wonderful world of Final Fantasy. Something that I am infinitely grateful to this game for. As those close to me will inform, Final Fantasy is a very big ins inspiration for me. And without this game, or at least its original incarnation, I don't know if I would have found that. This is a big part of my childhood, right here. Random encounters and all. I have no magic left. It's a sad, sad day when you're out of magic. That's alright, Tello's got plenty to go around. Get him, buddy! Crazy old man. Running actually increases your your encounter rate. I'm not 100 certain on that, so don't quote me. Get him! Get him! Get him! What ice? Does ice work on you? About as good as lightning. You are a terrible shot, young woman. Fire. Oh, Alright. Oh, can't say I haven't tried. You! I hate those things. They're just sacks of experience points. Delicious, delicious... I already went up there. Delicious, delicious experience points. And I want them. I want them, precious. <coughs> Damn frogs. What do you wait to? Ice? I got plenty of ice. I ice for days. Witness! Good enough. Be careful with that spell. People have died in the casting of sleep. Mostly intentionally. Not all the time. I keep looking at magic with her. She's got no MP left. Yay! She hit something! That alone is impressive. is its weakness. It's just not quite as weak to it as other things. So when I split cast it, it doesn't seem quite as powerful. This is the door I'm thinking of, right? Oh, good. Sweet, delicious save points. This magic field repels all monsters. You can save and use a tent or a cabin in here. It's also spacious. Let's rest in my tent and prepare for the coming battle.
I don't remember this cavern being this big. Fast asleep. She must have been very tired. There's her home. Mist Village. She seems very gifted. With proper training. She'll be able to master many spells. She looks so adorable. Oh, it reminds me of Anna years ago. Anna is my only daughter. She loved with a bard to damn sign. I didn't consent to their union. What business have you in, damn sign? A friend of mine suffers from desert fever. Ah, you're a sand ruby. Crying it won't be easy. I don't know what about this monster we must face. Ah! The one in the water cavern. Yes. It's a vicious creature with eight huge tentacles. So it's an octopus. But a big one! We must kill it quickly and reach Damsland before it's too late. Too late for what? I don't know. I only pray my instincts are wrong. Well, with that creepy foreboding... I think we'll call the episode. So we have another wonderful place to save at. Ah. Saving always feels so good. It does my heart and soul well. Hmm. That lovely little jingle. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying yourselves, as I make a complete fool of myself through my very unprofessional voice acting. And if you are enjoying it, please let me know down below, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll come back and continue to make our way through this cavern, now with Rydia having more magic than ever before, one can assume. We'll defeat a giant octopus in the next one. Till then, though, you all have yourselves a fragile step. I'll see you in the next adventure. Later!